Their music carries the message of the finished work of the cross and reveals the authentic gospel of grace. How beautiful is that? Please help me welcome this afternoon right here on Impact 103, none other than Pastor Anne. Hey, Tony, how are you? Thank you so much for having me on air. Hey, Pastor Ed, I'm so good. Thank you. I'm so glad to, to have you join me um, on this Thursday. Oh, thank you. You know, we just gave you a, a nice round of applause there just to welcome you, to make you feel, you know, welcome. I'm <laughs> oh, saying thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, good. How, how are you doing? I am doing so well. I'm doing so good. Sure. Um, yeah, I think that we're just making the most of the season that we're in, you know, and trying mm. to find like a bit of a new normal sure. um, for all of us, you know. But That's I true. think that things are looking up, things are getting better every day, you know. I mean, you, you are part of Redemption Church and yes. Redemption Worship. And so, how long have you been part of Rege- Redem- Red- Redemption Church for? From, for? Um, it is going on seven years now. The church was um, planted in um, 2013, August 2013. So it's going on seven years now I'm full-time with them, yeah. Wow, so ever since then, you've been part of them? Yeah, ever since um, been running the worship team there and just serving um, with Pastor Josh and Pastor Tara there for the last seven years. Yeah, going strong. Wow, that's really powerful. And let's let's chat yeah. a little bit about like redem- redemption worship, which is a, a part of Redemption yes. Church. And like you say here, your music carries the message of the finished work of the cross and reveals the authentic gospel of grace. That is really powerful, Absolutely. right? Then I feel like it's important that we carry that message through our music. And so, yes. who would you say contributes so much to the music of uh, of Redemption Worship? Who are the writers? Who is part of the team? And how are these songs formed within the team? Well. I think it's been a little bit of a um, up and down process, just getting our songwriting process sure. working, running um, really well. There has probably been, I would say, maybe three or four, maybe sure. five songwriters over the years that we've just collaborated. Mm. And a lot of our songs are actually burst um, from our pastor's sermons. You know, he wow. speaks about grace, the finished work of Jesus, and we like to take that message and try and put it into a song and put tools in people's hands and melodies and, and word and truth in people's mouths so that they mm. can sing sure. the same message that is being preached in our church. So, I mean, we're just a local worship team. We love our church. We love local church. We believe in the local church. We believe it's the answer for humanity, you know, mm. that it's God's plan. And so we, we absolutely are just there to serve our church. Wow. And it's been so amazing just to see God use these humble songs that just come out of our team and just breathe on them and really bless people and bring so much hope and so much freedom and actually reveal who Jesus really is. Sure. So sure. I think that's that's just really what fuels us. You wow. know? And it's, it's a handful of people. Obviously, we've got a greater team at the church. We've got some amazing people in our worship team sure. that are just, um, they have such a heart just to serve the house. You know, just to be there, just to be a part of the worship and what God is doing. Wow. So there's, wow, I, I don't even know off the top of my head, I guess, maybe there's probably about 30 or 40 people involved in our worship team. We've got a That's choir. A big tip, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so we've seen, we've seen a lot of change over the years, but, you know, we've got a great team at the moment, just people who love God and want to serve and are really pulling together during this time of COVID because that's completely shifted how we do church. Yeah, that totally has shifted the way, you know, we're doing church right now. And so how, how, yeah. how, how have you been coping, like, in that dy- dynam- dynamic? Wow, I think in the beginning, we were all just caught off guard and we thought, wow, what um, what is going on? <laughs> sure. And then the government obviously shut everything down. We couldn't have gatherings anymore. So everything just went from physical church to online church. Mm. So um, our team has been so phenomenal in just stepping into that place of online church. Our production team has been amazing. Our worship team, we started really, really small just doing recordings for online church because, of oh, course, yes. we weren't really allowed to meet. And we we almost felt like it was like this little underground meeting quickly trying to record our worship mm. just so that people would have something to sing on a Sunday, you know. Sure. And um, so we've been doing a lot of recordings as a church band. It really has amped up. 
um, a lot of different skills, maybe. It's like sharpen some of our skills. You know, you go from leading a crowd into worship, which you feed off yes. of, and it's fun, mate. That corporate worship experience, nothing can compare to that. Nothing. I totally agree um, with you. Yeah, when you're in the room and the Holy Spirit is moving, it's like nothing can compare to that. So now we've had to revert to a camera and yeah. um, online church and recording sets and so on and so forth. So wow. it's been a big shift, but honestly, I feel like it's, it's just God's grace that has been carrying us through mm. this time because it has been really good and people have been responding in such a good way. And it's great because we can still just put a message out there and some worship online and people yes. can tune in whenever they want. Yeah, God can use something that looks like it's a crisis and he can actually turn it around. Yes, totally. And um, he's already gone before and worked it all out for us. It's just for us to just trust him. You know? Sure, come on. And so let's, let's just take a, take a little bit about the music. You've got a, a single called Greater Glory. Um, yes. You know, and I think uh, it's such a beautiful song, and I'm going to play it just after this interview. Oh, but, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Let's just share a little bit about the influence and the inspiration. I know you, you did mention that a lot of songs come from a place where maybe your pastor mm-hmm. was preaching on a certain, uh, you know, particular message, and yeah. then you write from that place. But then this song yeah. specifically, um, what was the inspiration or, or, or behind this song, and how did it come about? Well, the way that it came out, I mean, it's really just a humble little devotional space that some of us were in. I think there was about four band members and we were sitting in our office where we work sure. and we were just um, sharing just the devotional time. We were in prayer and we kind of wrapped that up and we were just talking about where we felt the church was at the time. We would, you know, there was a bit of a shift happening. We were moving into a much, much bigger building mm-hmm. and we just felt like God was doing a new thing, you know. And for the new thing, it's like... We just felt like he, he was pouring out like almost like a new or a fresh anointing over us to be able to step into that new thing and handle it because it was quite a quite a big um, shift and a change. Yeah. So after the devotional space, um, one of the guys was just playing his guitar and he started singing a line and then one another vocal started singing a line and honestly it was the the quickest song that we'd like ever written. But wow. we were so in but we were so like the room was just sort of um, maybe still simmering with like the Holy Spirit, if wow. I can say that. Sure. And I feel like it was just almost like a, just a god breathed moment where it felt so easy. Mm. And we just began to write. And um, and it was just like it just came. It was just the easiest thing. But it wow. felt so god breathed you know. So, so, come so on, yes. So that is the crux of the songwriting journey. But this song has been so good for our church in the season. We just yeah. decided to release it now. We wrote it a while ago. Yeah. But we, we decided to release it now because what better time, um, people need hope and yeah. people need to hear truth and, you know, know that God is working. You know, but so it's many other people are facing a whole lot of different things. And this is such yeah. a great time, like you were saying, to, to really yeah, be that beacon kind of hope. Yeah, and it's it's actually really important what we focus on right now. You know, sure. you can focus on the news, you can focus on all the stuff that's going on because it's true. You know, it, it mm. is truth. When you look around what's on the news, the numbers of COVID and all of that, that is truth. But I think one thing we always strive for, like in our music and our songs and our lyrics, is to sing about the higher truth, Ooh, which is on, God's come word. On. Sure, come on. But we can choose to step into a space of, well, you know what, even though this stuff is going on, mm. I'm going to set my eyes on Jesus and I'm actually going to take you at your word and go, okay, your word says this God and I speak this into my situation or whatever. Mm. And we really endeavor to put those lyrics into our songs to put tools in people's mouths and hearts sure. to stir faith and actually trust God through a time like this because He is still in control, mm. He's still sovereign. And, you know, we can trust him. He's a trustworthy God. He's a good father. Amen. Come on. So, yeah. That's so, that's so powerful. Like, I can tell. You, you, I can tell you're a pastor. I mean, you are dropping bombs <laughs> after bombs. <laughs> oh, listen, this is revelation that God has been working in my life. Wow. You know, Jesus time. And I, I really believe that through the hardest times, the, the real fruit does come out, you mm, know. Sure, that's powerful. So it's like we, you know, if we can just learn to rejoice in these seasons of hardship, it's like we know that God is working all things together for good, you know. Amen. And, and that's, that's when we got to shift our focus. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. Powerful, powerful. Yeah, we need to really make sure that we're maintaining focus on the Lord and not just on the crisis yes. that we are surrounded by, but really, Absolutely. you know, reminds Absolutely. me of Peter as well when um, when he 
when he asked Jesus to walk on water, like to, to come, to go up to Jesus. It's like, Jesus, if it's you, let me walk on water too. And then he starts walking yeah. on water, but then the moment the thunders, uh, you know, and storms started to hit, he took his eyes off. Yes, yeah. his eyes went off and he lost focus. <laughs> and so to keep afloat, let's keep our focus on Jesus, like you're saying, you know. Wow. Really, Absolutely. really, really appreciate this. And so, with regards to the song "Greater Glory," is it part of a of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an upcoming project? Oh, you know what? I yes. would love to say that we've got like a whole album out with 12 songs. But you know <laughs> what? We are working towards that. Yeah. And we trust in God for that. Okay. Of course, our good. focus right now has been very, very much other things, online church, getting that up and running, getting through COVID, all of that. Mm. But we do have some very exciting things in the pipeline. We actually have done a remix of that song. Wow. Which would be great if you want to play that on air. Yes, I think please. That Let's um, drop the remix. Yes. <laughs> Let's drop the beat. <laughs> Um, so we've got that and then we've also got an acoustic version of that song that we're finishing up. Wow. And then um, we are, yeah, we, we're kind of dreaming about maybe doing uh, another album with maybe, maybe 10, 12 tracks on, but we're also going to look at remaking some of wow. the worship songs we released uh, in 2018 and that um, album is called Something About the Name. Something About the Name, yes. Yes, and it's got four tracks. So we want to redo those tracks. We want to freshen them up. We want to do some remixes and maybe some acoustic versions of those and then actually release it fresh because we feel both songs are also just prophetic and speak to the season. And I think maybe it's just sort of been lost in time. Sure. And we want to just um, put a light on those again. So, yeah, we, we in talks about uh, certain things and dreaming about a lot. Mm-hmm. But I think we'll see when we can get to it, you know, with, sure. with everything going on right now. But, yeah, we... We definitely have that in our hearts to do and release more music. That's really cool. You know what? Patience is a virtue, and so we will patiently wait for this uh, for, for this project uh, to yes, come out. We will let you know first. <laughs> yeah. I promise. And so, in terms of like keeping up with uh, with uh, redemption worship, uh, where can we find you? I mean, social media wise. Okay, so we are on every social media platform, obviously Facebook and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, we're even on Spotify, Redemption Worship on Instagram. It's Redemption dot Worship, and then you can just pop onto the link in our bio and it literally takes you to all our new music, our church, our pastor sermons. Uh, we've even got a we've even got a big women's um, online conference coming up now beginning of October. You can go online and register for that. Sure. You can just check everything out on Instagram and then of course we've got our Facebook but our website is this is redemption dot com and you can also just go and find everything on the area. Sure, that's really powerful. Wow. Okay, one more, one more question yeah. I'd like to ask you, Pastor Anne. Today, uh, mm-hmm. I've been chatting about, like, oh, the question that I, I, I asked was, what would you like to be remembered for in this lifetime? And so, I'd like to throw it to you and ask you, uh, from the top of your head, what is it that you'd like, you would like to be remembered for in, this, in your lifetime? Oh my goodness, I <laughs> so much. I really like, I'm, I'm such a strange person like that. I, I, I often think of what people would say to me or say of me at my, my funeral. Yeah. I know that's such a morbid thing yes. to say, but it's, <laughs> it's a good thing to reflect, you know? Yeah, totally. Um, I would say off the top of my head how I loved Jesus and yeah. how I loved people. Mm, come on, come on, come on. I love yeah. it, I love it. That's powerful. <laughs> I think you, you can never go wrong with that, is it? It's <laughs> what it's about. Sure, come on. No, Pastor Anne, I really appreciate you yeah. for chatting to me. You know what? I didn't say your surname because I was I was afraid I would say it wrong. But maybe uh, you can help so, me here. Uh, no. I'm going to try. It's a difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you going to try? try. I'm going to try, okay? But I would like you to correct me. Uh, is that okay? Okay, so, okay yes. Anne, that's your name. And then Car- Carter Penis. Carta, Carta, yes. pa- almost. Carta almost. Carta Ah, there we go. There we go. Carta Ah, what does it yeah, mean? Yeah, but well done. Thank you, you got so it quite much. right. <laughs> what, what does it mean? Do you know? I have no idea because I'm actually so English and I married a Greek man. Ooh. So I took over the surname from Blake to Katapanis. Katapanis. Ah, okay. And I have no clue what it means. I haven't even been to Greece. It's it's not. That's not good. No ear has heard, no eye has seen what the Lord has stored up for us. Uh, <laughs> Amen. I receive it. I receive it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Pastor Ed, thank you so much for chatting to me today. It's really been uh, a blast. Thank you. I'll be thank playing Greek Glory right now. It's my pleasure. 
and we'll definitely chat again when you release uh, new music and please send through the remix yes I will I will definitely do it thank you awesome hey have a blessed day you too thanks Cheers. bye 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 this is Redemption Worship uh, with Greater Glory